that extend across the state line into northern Colorado, over into the northeast corner, and especially down into Elbert County and El Paso County. That's where we have some very dense fog over Monument Hill. The visibility has dropped to just a tenth of a mile, and then into the Black Forest there, basically areas in El Paso County, east of Colorado Springs. Be on the lookout for some fog if your travels take you through that area this morning. Uh, we're going to keep the fog in some spots through mid-morning, and then everything will clear. Here in the Denver area, I'd be surprised if we see much, if any, fog, but there is that small possibility. This afternoon, our attention is going to turn to the high country, where we'll see a few showers and a couple of thunderstorms late afternoon into the evening. Uh, the familiar scenario this time of year, a couple storms will try to make their way toward Denver. A couple will be successful. Most won't be. So for many of us, it'll be a dry day. For some of us, we'll have a late day, afternoon or evening thunderstorm. Uh, the best chance for storms today, speaking of Colorado Springs, are going to be for the mountains uh, to the west of the springs and then down along the San Juan Cristo Mountains west of Pueblo, Walsenburg, and Trinidad. That's where a lot of that storm activity is going to be. Temperatures today will top out near 80 on the plains, and it does stay dry out on the eastern plains. The chance for storms today will be confined to the Interstate 25 corridor, and the mountains were highs will be in the 60s and 70s in the mountains today. Here in the Denver area, temps stay in the 80s all the way through the upcoming weekend. Friday looks to be completely dry. Our best chance of rain is going to be on Thursday, and then for the second half of the weekend, looks good for Sunday, 84 with sunshine.